good evening welcome back to my channel uh, we're gonna do a little bit of Christmas light repair here tonight let me get rid of my extra change that's sitting here on this desk um, the other night I was showing you guys this uh, string of old 1930s uh, C6 lights and I think I was showing you guys that uh, this plug is broken and you know this is not good <laughs> so I have a new old stock kit here this is quite old by the looks uh, this is made by this was made by Hemco. Uh, this is just universal Bakelite plug with a little cardboard cover. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I don't always like to use this style plug on these because, for obvious reasons, you lose the stackable plug feature. But you know, uh, this thing is broken and dangerous and if I were going to use this Christmas set of lights on my Christmas tree I would put the other sets with the stackable plugs in first and plug this one in last um, so we're going to take this old yeah, we're going to take this old pair of scissors here that reside in my toolbox in my garage and we're going to Try to clip these old wires off of here. Uh, hopefully, and that does work. So, why am I using a pair of scissors? Well, that's what I have here, and it's going to take some finesse to strip this wire off because obviously these are cloth. You kind of have to cut your way around the insulation without cutting the wire, which might prove to be a pain in the rear. And all you gotta do is just nick that wire, nick that cloth jacket, because the stuff that is underneath is actually rubber. And it will eventually strip off just like that. That's a really interesting looking wire. Uh, I guess it is. I can't see very really well anymore. My eyesight is not as good as it used to be. So what we have to do with this, looks like there's like some fuzz or something on that thing. I don't know. So what we have to do with this is we have to make a curl in it. You know, you gotta twist it and then put a nice little put a nice little hook on the end of that wire. Why in the world? Oh, there's some kind of a that's why that looks so weird. There's like a string in there. So we gotta cut that off. Just like so. Thought I was working with Romex here for a minute. Good lord. So we have to cut this off and we have to form a neat little hook on that. And then, I guess it, then we have to put it up through this plug, like so. Once you get it up through here, you have to bend it like that, so that's like 90 degrees to the wire. And the reason for that is because you have to hook it around this little screw, which we're gonna. Now you want to set that on that screw so that you're turning your screw clockwise and you're pulling the hook 
into the screw. Now you can see how I have that. Okay, there it is. It's perfect right there. So, you want to turn this clockwise. So that that pulls that wire right in around there, just like that. And that is perfect. There is no wire sticking out of the air whatsoever. Well, I know a lot of people would suggest putting a knot in this wire, but you know the lead-ins are not super long on this string of lights, so I'm not going to do that. You know, it, uh, they obviously didn't do it on the Noma strings or any of them, and they were never any. You just don't grab the wires and pull the plug out of the socket, is all. And we got to do the same thing here. We got to very carefully nick through that old cloth insulation and then we get to try to it's very difficult to strip the stuff doesn't strip off quite as well as the uh, more modern vinyl wire does I had to deal with some of this stuff when I was rewiring this house that I live in. This old house had knob and two wiring in it. And, oh, I didn't. I wasn't able to. wasn't able to discontinue all that knob and two wiring all at one time. So. I eliminated it a little bit at a time. I had to splice onto it a few times. That stuff's a pain to splice onto also. Alright, now we got that done. Now we got a twister. Twister strands of wire here together so that and then once again form it into a nice little hook. I'm ensuring that my little tag stays on there because I want it to. And we get it fed up through here again and put the little 90 degree bend onto it. And then we're going to try to fish it in under the screw. If I can get all the right wire. Just like that. That is picture perfect right there. Tighten that screw up. How ironic, I'm using a really old whoop, wire moved out from under the screw there a little bit. That's not what I wanted that to do. How ironic that we're using this very old school bake light plug in to repair these really old wires. This is exactly what this plug was intended to do probably 50, 60 years ago and then we put this little cardboard bushing on this thing, push it down onto the plug and it doesn't really set down inside that real good but I guess that's fine. It's doesn't fall off there. Then we plug them in and we see if they work. Yeah. Tonight I have my dimmer box on the table and yes that string of lights works again. Now it's safe you can actually unplug them without having a blade pull out of the air. So there you get, there it is. It's that simple to fix an old set of lights. And whatever you do, if you got little kids around, make sure you throw these things away when you cut them off there because you don't want your little kid picking that up and plugging it into an outlet. Because that 
right there would be a guaranteed shock. Well, there it is. Quick and simple. And ready for many more years of use. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.